Hi, this is Tom from zerodefinals.com. In this video I'm going to be going through a condition called core pulmonale. And you can find written notes on this topic at zerodefinals.com forward slash core pulmonale or in the cardiology section of the Zero to Finals Medicine book. So let's jump straight in. Core pulmonale is right-sided heart failure that's caused by a respiratory disease. So the increased pressure and resistance in the pulmonary arteries, we call this pulmonary hypertension, results in the right ventricle, or the right side of the heart, being unable to effectively pump blood out of the ventricle and into the pulmonary arteries. So basically the right hand side of the heart is pumping against a lot of pressure inside the pulmonary arteries or in the lungs. This strain on the right ventricle trying to pump blood against high resistance leads to a back pressure of blood leading into the right atrium, the vena cava and the systemic vena system. So what causes core pulmonale? Well, the most common cause is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Other causes are pulmonary embolism, interstitial lung disease, cystic fibrosis, and primary pulmonary hypertension. How do patients present? Often patients with early core pulmonale are asymptomatic. The main presenting complaint is shortness of breath, and unfortunately shortness of breath is also caused by all the chronic lung diseases that themselves lead to core pulmonale. Patients may also present with peripheral edema, secondary to the right-sided heart failure, or increased breathlessness on exertion, syncope, which is basically dizziness or fainting, or they might present with chest pain. It's important to examine patients for signs of core pulmonale. So these signs are hypoxia. They might be cyanotic. They might have a raised JVP. And this is because of a backlog of blood into the jugular veins in the neck. They might have peripheral edema due to all the backlog of blood into the peripheral venous system, causing leakage of fluid into the tissues. They might have a third heart sound, you might hear a murmur, and if they have tricuspid regurgitation, where the tricuspid valve has started to flop back and let blood back through from the right ventricle into the right atrium, you can have a pansystolic murmur. You might also find hepatomegaly, so a big liver, because of the back pressure into the hepatic vein. And when you have tricuspid regurgitation, that blood flowing backwards through that tricuspid valve can lead to a pulsatile liver or pulsatile hepatomegaly. What's the management of core pulmonale? Well, management involves really treating the symptoms and the underlying cause. Long-term oxygen is often used, but the problem with core pulmonale is it's quite an end-stage condition and the prognosis is quite poor unless there's a reversible underlying cause. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, left a comment or subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, it really helps. Zero to Finals is not just a YouTube channel. There's also a website with detailed notes, illustrations and questions. An Instagram account where new questions are posted every day to help you test your knowledge. Books, flashcards and much more. I also have a personal channel where I share my thoughts and tips on learning medicine and you can find links to everything in the description of this video. See you next time.